Hey YouTube, it's me again with another video, and as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about the rumors for the Winter 2020 LEGO Star Wars sets, which we actually don't have a full list for because we usually get 11 sets and we only have 9 so far. So this might be because of the Rise of Skywalker sets, which will of course come out with this line because the movie comes out before this line does, and they probably want to keep it top secret. So that's probably what the two other sets are going to be, but um, we still got 9 sets, so we're going to count them down and uh, let's get right into it. But starting off with the micro fighters, we have three with this wave, which is the normal. And the first one is the 75263 with 86 pieces, is the fairy micro fighter, which should be retailing for $9.99 USD and $12.99 Canadian. Now, we don't really have any information about this micro fighter other than what I just said, but I do believe this micro fighter will have something to do with episode 9 because uh, uh, we are going to get uh, episode 9 micro fighters like we seen with episode 8 in the winter line so uh just expect this to be something with episode 9 and um i don't know there's probably some predictions for it but i have nothing for it the next micro fighter is the 75264 with 72 pieces is the oslo tram micro fighter uh, i think that's how you say it now again this will be retailing around 9.99 usd and 12.99 canadian and will be from episode 9 and it's all but confirmed to be Kylo Ren's shuttle which would be, make a lot of sense because uh in this rumor list for the fall 2019 sets um episode 9 sets which you can check out this video I also did uh on the rumors of that line uh we are supposed to getting a Kylo Ren shuttle so uh this would work with this and would make a lot of sense sorry guys I had to include a little plug there for my own content but um the last micro fighter is a dual pack, which uh, I'm actually kind of excited to see how it's going to turn out because uh, we know what this is going to be. And it is the 75265 with 198 pieces is the Banth, Bantha, I, I don't know how to say it guys, sorry, Banth versus T16 Skyhopper. This set will retail at $19.99 USD and $24.99 Canadian. And uh, as for the set itself, like I said, I'm really interested to see what we'll get because uh, I think we will get a brick built up. Uh, Bantha, I think that's how you say it. Um, kind of like the do-back we got with last year, last year's uh, dual pack micro fighter, which is something that uh, I really liked. So I'm interested to see this for this set. Moving on to the battle packs, we have two. And uh, this is what we usually get for this wave. But the first one is rumored to be the 75266 with 105 pieces is the Burgess battle pack, which will retail around $14.99 USD and $19.99 Canadian. Now this is really interesting because this is a episode 9 battle pack and we are getting a battle pack with the name Burgess meaning we could get a new planet or a place called Burgess. Um, I don't really know. We don't have enough information on this movie yet so it's just a theory. But uh, I believe this is going to be a episode 9 battle pack because um, I mean what else would it be? And the next battle pack is actually something to do with uh, the Mandalorian. It has a, uh, you'll see, and we'll get into it and you'll see. And like I said, the next battle pack is of course the 75267 uh, Huckleberry battle pack, which is of course based on the show The Mandalorian. And if you're wondering how we know that, the Mandalorian's code name at Disney is called Project Huckleberry. So uh, that's how we know it is a Mandalorian battle pack. So this is really exciting information. So, uh, like, I don't know if we're getting Mandalorian Troopers, but I really hope so. That would be really cool. And uh, as for the set, uh, set retailing itself, it's going to probably go around $14.99 USD and $19.99 Canadian. Next, with our one and only junior set for this wave is a 75268 with 91 pieces. is a junior snow speeder. Now, I'm expecting this junior set to be one of the high-priced ones for $19.99 USD and $24.99 Canadian with too many figs. And, um... This set is pretty self-explanatory. It's a snow speeder. I don't know how they're going to pull it off with 91 pieces, but I'm kind of interested to see. But uh, we will see in the next coming months. Next with our play sets for the wave, we have the ones I'm most excited for. The first one is the 75269 with 208 pieces. It's the Anakin versus Obi-Wan Kenobi duel. Now, unfortunately, we aren't going to be seeing a big play set of Musafar. Uh, like we all want it, and when we heard about the rumors, that's what we wanted. But we are going to be getting a smaller playset, probably like the Star Killer base one we got uh, last winter, I think that was. 
Um, but this Mustafar set is, uh, it's going to be a good set. We haven't got a Mustafar play set or anything since 2005, so it's really exciting. And this set will probably retail around $19.99 USD and $24.99 Canadian, with two minifigs being Anakin and Obi-Wan, and maybe an extra one being R2-D2 or Padme or something. And of course, last but not least, we have the 75270 and 75271 sets being Luke's Land Speeder and Obi-Wan's Hut, which strangely enough, LEGO has already revealed, uh, which they never do for these sets this early on, so that's really strange. I don't know why they did that, but uh, I'm not going to express my opinions on it because I already have a video that I talked about it. Um, another little plug, guys, that you can check it out if you want. But uh, if you have opinions about these sets, uh, leave them in the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say about it, because I don't think they're the best sets. But um, other than that, guys, uh, that's all the rumors. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, there's a lot of rumors for this, and we still haven't got two sets. Um, now, if it does follow the pattern of the set numbers, the next two sets will be 75272 and 75273. But we're not 100% sure about that, because there could be more sets that come out in between that with them numbers or something like that. But um, if you guys are excited for this, vote on this poll, you know. Uh, yes, if you are, no, not obviously. And if you did enjoy, hit that like button and sub to the channel. Um, because it really helps a lot, but I'll see you guys in the next one.